All right, in this video, I want to show you some of the things that I do that I have not shared on this YouTube channel. A lot of it is um, too complicated <laughs> and requires quite a bit of work. This is my flagship radio station, niaradionetwork.com. And already you see on the sidebar this is wordpress but this could work for any website I already see on the sidebar the now playing it has the album cover the artist the title and i decided to put the album um, that updates when the song changes let's see someone wanted to know what what else did i do so under my radio menu i have a playing now page and on this page of course it's going to have some of the same uh, information, but I, this week I decided to add the most recently played songs. Now, because the, the, this is this taking too long, and it's the you know the end of the year, I usually change up my website skin or theme to do something totally different and new. I'm going to get more simplified more clean i don't I, I no longer like all the little flashy stuff i don't you know i mean this is cool this little thing that comes with this particular uh, thing where you can say what's coming up next basically the different shows and you could put an image with it i have nothing to do with that other than use it but what i'm showing you is the things that i've created um, for my radio DJ station. All right, so this is the now playing page for the radio station. And because the sidebar is here, you're going to get that twice because um, that's in the sidebar. But I put it on this page. But when you scroll down, this I added this this week, the most recently played songs. And what this does, this allows people to come and see, did I miss when my song played or whatever? And I can make this a little longer if I wanted to, maybe to the last 20 played songs or something like that this updates i want to say every five minutes and again it has the tracking so if i click on the twitter bird it's going to go to my um twitter account and it's going to show the the times that i played songs by this is bishop td jakes um, it's going to show songs played by him. Well, how am I doing that? When my radio station tweets for every song, now this, this requires some time. Okay. Um, I do it before I put the songs in, but when I started implementing this, all the songs that didn't have hashtags in them, I did it. Now I don't put the hashtag in the metadata. I'm using an unused field in radio DJ that could i'm using the composer field i'm using the composer field for the song to put the twitter hashtag in and the twitter application that i have it's just set up to deal with that okay and you can use the label field if you don't want to use the composer field uh, what else you got publicist field in radio dj but i'm just using an unused field to put the person's tracking keyword in that field and i'm making sure my twitter application is displaying that and so that allows the artist to track whether or not we really playing their music and i recently started showing all the album covers i used to didn't show the album covers unless you pay for a promotion or unless it's an advertiser because i thought maybe that would um, incentivize people to by promotions and by advertising but ever since i started showing the albums for everything that i play um i've getting i've been getting a, a little more traction okay the twitter that's a whole nother that's a whole nother video all right so the recently played and i'm gonna show you <laughs> or tell you rather how difficult this was to do this uh, all right, so then under the radio menu, there is uh, recently recently added because I get a lot of emails. Hey, I su submitted my song. Has it? Have you? You know, 
So I made this page for anybody who submitted their music and wanted to check whether or not we've added it. So this shows, of course, the CD cover, the artist title, the keyword that when they've submitted the music, I asked them for a keyword. If they don't give me one, then I just use their name. Uh, they can track it. And I show the date that it was added. This is all automatic now. And it, I used to just used to connect directly in real time to the database. But hackers were hitting my ISP so hard that they completely shut it down. They just completely shut it down. So this complete, this whole thing stopped working for about a week, no longer than a week, about a half a month, I would say. Um, and I showed the top 51 most recently added music. So I can go in there right now, add a song and probably within 10 minutes, it'll show up here. And there's a reason for the 10 minute deal because I can't do the real time connection to the database. So I had to come up with a way around that. And um, it's working. It's working pretty good. I, I mean, you know, I had to go back to coding school and SQL school. And how can I do this? How can I make this work? And it is actually working pretty good. The music library. You have to, my, the members of my site have to be logged in. This is an incentive to get them to become a member to the website. So the music library if a person missed their song on the recently added page, they can come here and search for their song. So if I put in this Stanley and hit search, it will go and it's looking for all of the songs, artists and song titles that have the word Stanley in it. And then that person can see whether or not their song is in at least at at least in the station's library. Um, another thing is, let's see, the ad tracking database. All right. The ad tracking database, you would normally, you would have to pay for this um, to get access to this. This allows advertisers to go in and search for their ad and see how many spins it has gotten. They can track it on Twitter. They can see when it was added to the station and they can see when was the last time their advertisement played. Um, I don't get a lot of people that buy this. I only charge $5 for 30 day access. And that's because advertisers are not used to having this kind of information or access to this information. So I'm going to be pushing this a lot more because what has happened is I told you the hackers were hitting my ISP because I opened up the port so that this script could connect to my database. And so this, none of this stuff was working, you know, and I got busy and none of this stuff was working. So I had to shut it down for a while, but now I think I can get back at it and push it and start um, earning a little money now i did the same thing for the song tracking data database the difference between the library and this one is this one shows you um how many spins you had the song had they can search um by artist or song title do the stanley guy again he can come and if he pays the five dollars he can for 30 days he can access to see if we're playing his music or not now, after that, he could either buy a promotional package or just have people come in and request it. Now, because I'm not connected to the database, my requests don't work. So to request a song, that's, that's out. That's a done deal. I can't, the, the way I'm doing it now, there's no connection. Okay. So that don't work. The other thing I'm doing is charts. Okay. So I have my hot 100 chart. These are the top 100 songs in the past seven days 
that have gotten the most plays. Um, I did. I do these things because I play a lot of independent artists as well as national artists. I do this so that they can feel connected to the radio station. They'll keep coming back and they'll keep looking at these charts and and doing things and maybe buying promotion, maybe buying advertising. It shows, um, of course, their album cover, their, their name, title, the keyword that they can use on Twitter to search for, or they can click this track button. They can see the last time they saw them play. And, of course, they can see their rank. So this number one, this person has the most spins in the past seven days. And, of course, number 101 out of this whole group has the least. But this shows everything that is being played other than commercials and stuff like that and then i have my genre charts i don't think i have a lot of afro so i got alternative gospel um and i do the top 50 and it's the same it's based on who has the most spins in the past seven days okay um there's only 11 in that one and I try to reset these at the beginning of the... Well, I don't have to now because it's, it looks back seven days. So it just keeps going. Christmas songs, that's hot right now. I went full on 24-hour Christmas Sunday. So it's going to show you the songs since Sunday that have gotten the most spins. And it ranks them. 100. I did 100 on that one. Because that's a seasonal thing. Now, there's a reason why some of these images don't show up. I'll deal with um, image posting in a YouTube video later on. So this is some of the things I do. If you want to come over here to NIARadioNetwork.com and look at this, some of this you'll be able to see. Some of it you have to be a member to see. Let's see Gospel Jazz. And it just keeps up. Now, what I had to do to make this work again, since I cannot remotely connect to the database, is crazy. <laughs> I had to pull out what little knowledge I had and Google knowledge I could find just to get... Um, you know, to make this work. Uh, it's it's crazy what I'm having to do, the different things I have to do to make this work. And there's a lot of little systems in place to make this work. So I want to know what you guys think about this, what kind of ideas you got. Um, and if you're interested in this, you, you need to be someone who, who knows coding, who knows Windows, and who knows coding. All right. I could put together a package with all of this it's going to take me some time to put it to put it together so that a person could do it on their own um and i would have to charge for it i'm looking at a usd price of around 29.95 and it would have not only all of the charts um you can make your own charts but it would have um, everything be recently played. I was trying to do one. I'm trying to work on showing what's coming up next. That's, that's what I'm working on next. So that on this page, I can show what's coming up next. Um, but if you're interested in something like this, let me know below. For me to do it for you. Hmm. Wow, I have to come up with a price for that. I, I do. It, it is going to take some time to, to get it all in there. and You need to have your own web hosting. I will tell you that. You got to have your, your own web hosting. You have to, it has to be able to do PHP. You need to be able to do FTP. What else? Um, I think that's the main thing. And you need a little bit of space. 
because the album covers it's oh wow it's just so much when it comes to this whenever i add new music or if i change the album covers to any of this it gets updated automatically there's a lot going on behind the scenes to do that so there's some ftp stuff going on there's some um there's some it's some stuff going on i'll put it to you like that but i thought i'd share this with you because a couple of people have asked me what else do i do uh with radio dj and so this is some of the things that i do so if you want to check out some of this go over to niaradionetwork.com and check it out and let me know what you think all right see you guys in another video